is Ambitious Angelo reporting for Wu Cut TV. And I found the legend himself, Eric Pacino. Eric Pacino is actually my first person I ever interviewed for Wu Cuts TV. It's awesome. A year and a half later, we find ourselves here. Eric, welcome back to Wu Cuts TV. Well, pleasure uh, you having me again. We appreciate that. You know, it's nice to always uh, be able to come back and see somebody's growth. So, congratulations to yourself for uh, getting the brand out there and getting the name out there. Thank you so much, man. I walked right in, man. I saw my face on those big billboards and everything. I was like, Made it. Yeah, you know what I'm saying? Like, for real, man. For real. It's it's surreal, man. But, hey, hard work pays off, man. Hard work pays off. Eric, talk to me. What you been doing here at Premiere? So, uh, today I basically had a uh, educational class for Premiere. And then I also had a, a mentorship program, which is basically they picked five winners that I guess wanted for me to mentor them, which is pretty cool. Um, I wasn't really aware of it at the beginning. But then uh, when they told me about it, I was like, man, that's pretty awesome that somebody actually wants to sit down and pick my brain. Um, I wish I would have had that coming up, like being able to speak to somebody who's done, you know, from barbershop owner to coming out with their own app to getting their own line of hair products, kind of pick their brain and kind of get some type of, um, you know, ideas and just some type of, um, I guess, creativity as far as like what you need to do to try to get your brand out there. So it was kind of cool to men mentorship these uh, five young ladies that uh, sat there with me and just, you know, picked my brain for literally an hour and. I was even kind of amazed at some of the questions. I was like, man, these are some pretty cool questions. So it was pretty awesome that Premier had me here uh, as one of their representatives to uh, do this mentorship, a mentorship program. And I thought it was great. Yeah, absolutely. I was talking to uh, Laurel. She has a foundation that's giving scholarships out to barbers and stylists to continue their education and mentor. And I told her about, um, you know, our military experience and how mentorship is such a big factor um, in your military experience. What do you think we can do the barbers and stylists that are coming up? Uh, I think these type of programs, like what happened here today, for me, I think it's great. I think we could uh, possibly see more of that, hopefully, in all these bar battles that are going on. Because uh, at the end of the day, it's like, you know, people just do, you know, they don't just want to know about doing a haircut or doing a fade. Like, they do want to know a little bit more about, you know, being an entrepreneur, getting yourself out there. Uh, you know, there's a lot more that you could do when you step away from the chair as well within this industry. You know, so there are a lot of different platforms out there. So I think that's one of the things we can start doing is kind of, you know, having these quote unquote mentorship programs where, you know, X amount of people come to a classroom just to pretty much, not just for the haircut side of it, but more so for the mentorship, the uh, entrepreneurial side of like this industry, because this barber industry continues to grow every day. Right. And like, I honestly didn't, I don't have anybody that I could really just call and ask, like, hey, how'd you do this or how'd you do that? It's like, I've had to just figure all this out on my own, you know? And so it is great now to be able to, you know, see these young barbers or even barbers that are older that want to do more than just cut hair behind the chair and uh, open up their own shop, you know, make an app, come out with their own line of hair grooming products. I mean, it's great for me to be able to kind of tell them, like, look, you could do these things or you could do that. But at the end of the day, this was the way I did it. It might help you, it might not but at least give them some type of uh, guidance, which is I think what, what we are lacking in this industry. I love, um, recently I've been on the road uh, giving some inspirational talks. I don't like to say motivational, because motivation fades, but inspirational talks and these, these cosmetologists, these barbers, um, you know, I'm not, a, I'm not a barber. I can't teach them how to fade, you know what I'm saying? But I, I teach them about my brand, I teach them about how I did it, and then one of the things I tell them is like, look, there's a thousand ways to skin a cat, you can go about this however you want. Now, this is the way that I did it. Figure out your own way. This is a great beauty event, and I see some hungry barbers out here consistently, but what do you think we can do for the barbering industry for 2017? That's a really good question. Here's the thing. I think with barbers especially, uh, a lot of times when they first come into the industry, you know, sometimes the, ex excuse me, the expectations are high, and I don't think they realize that you know a lot of these people that you see that are actually, uh, you know, you know, far in their career, it's because it's time, you know, there's a lot of time that went into it. When you see barbers like, you know, whether it's, you know, Curtis Smith or Kenny Duncan, I mean, a lot of us barbers have been doing it many years. So it's like, you can't expect to just come in and all of a sudden, you know, be uh, IG famous or get booked or, you know, do these educational classes. Like, it takes time to, to, to build something and, and, and create it. So, you know, for me, it's, one of those things where I like to try to explain to a barber, it's like, you know, be creative with what you're trying to do, but, you know, have a plan, have a goal. What, where is it that you're trying to go? But understand, it's not going to happen overnight. 
it, it, it will take some time, but if it's something you really want to do, eventually it will happen, you know, and that's always been my biggest thing is, you know, whatever goal, whatever dream you have, keep doing it because eventually it will happen, you know, anything is possible, you know, anything is possible. Eric, what are some of the people that, that keep you sharp, that keep your mind, you know, on point? Well, within the barber industry, some of the barbers that, you know, sometimes I just pick up the phone and speak to is uh, Curtis Smith, uh, Lee. Resnick from Barbershop Connect, just to kind of chop it up and, you know, do just brainstorm and speak. You know, he has his business, I have my business, but it's kind of good to like bounce ideas back and forth. And, you know, it's kind of good to, to hear another entrepreneur speak about what they're going through because then it kind of like makes you realize like, man, I'm not the only one going through this struggle, you know? <laughs> so it, it's cool to kind of just speak to other people that are kind of within the same lane of, 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 you know, having their own business or trying to run their own brand and trying to do things that, you know, will inspire other people. One of my favorite guys is Eric Thomas, oh, uh, Dr. Eric oh, yeah. Thomas. Oh. Thomas, 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 Thomas. So, yeah, definitely. Eric Thomas is very inspirational. He uh, he motivates me as well. So um, yeah, there's another guy on, on social media by the name of Gary. Yo, Gary Vaynerchuk, yeah. that's my yeah. dude, yeah. Like Gary B. Yeah. I love how he's, uh, Eric Thomas is for a certain type of people, right. but Gary B is not just in like he's real direct he might be very yeah, you know a little vulgar he's very blunt. but um he's very practical yeah. he's like stop watching other people just go yeah, and do yeah. just go do it you're gonna learn and grow from it exactly and that's pretty much like what i've always done in, in, in the sense of just like you know you can only learn so much from somebody until you go out there making mistakes and you can learn from those mistakes you know and i tell that to people all the time it's like don't be scared to do it just do it you know whether you fail we succeed one way or another you're gonna learn so you're still winning you know so it doesn't matter you're gonna learn something and you're gonna learn how to do better and at the end of the day that's to me the most important part is execution just go out there and do it eric thank you so much for your time man i know you got a million things to do out here brother but i really do appreciate you man uh, honestly you're one of the guys that i'm always chasing you know michael J lebron james is, yeah. is chasing michael jordan yeah. man i'm chasing eric pacino all right brother i really for real, man, you, you've done amazing things for this industry. You've trailblazed a lot for people, and not just here in the United States, man. You're international, man. So I really appreciate you, brother. All right. Good luck with that. Thank you so much. Wu Cuts TV connecting the beauty and barber industry through technology, media, and events like this one right here. Stay tuned for more information on Premier Orlando, my guy Eric, and Pacino's signature brand. Wu Cuts TV out.